All right, welcome back to fucking Chugs. Building site, this seems to be this moment in time. Should be a living room. Aye, anyway, right, so this fucking bad boy right here has been an absolute champ for the last 10 years. Although, has it really done that much? A couple of flares in its fucking 20 years of existence, probably. And it's probably not even really done it that well, to be quite honest, because it fucking just chucks dust everywhere. So, anyway, this was a classic Black & Decker fucking BD75E, if you're following along, it used to be 650 watt amateur model. And, again, we have went with an amateur model because I don't know, figure guarantee, 120 bucks for bucket. Let's just go with that rather than 250 bucks on the other one. Because it's not something I'm gonna use that much. Three year guarantee, if it fucks up in three years, I'm gonna be able to do all the flares here in three years. So let's just go with this to save the fucking money. So it looks similar as well actually to the uh the more expensive one. Uh whoever does get very much mixed reviews. The reviews are either it fucks up within the first five minutes or it seems to be fairly um, fairly strong. So anyway, this is the PBS 75AE, not the A. The A is not as high a wattage. You want to go for the AE, it's definitely worth the extra 10 fucking euros or pounds or whatever the fuck it is. The AE is where it's at, 750 watt. I think the A is only 400 watt. It's also an extra 50 uh, meters per minute um, in terms of the, the, the speed that it rotates at. 350 meters per minute with this, and the A model was 300, I believe it is. Same size of, um, same size of fucking belts. Anyway, let's see what's inside the box. It's a shame it doesn't come in a stakeener. Uh, but this is what it is. Anyway, she's quite a fucking size. She is quite a size. Let's see, is she metal on the side? That is, yeah, it is metal. It's just a pressed metal tab. Fine, these are metal. That's cast aluminium, all plastic. Looks alright, I think. Um, there's obviously something that you can add on on the side here, which I'm not 100% sure about. Comes with a fucking belt already applied. I like the handle, I like the feeling of it. Um, I don't know about the oil that's pissing out the side here, though that's interesting. Um, so that will be the Hoover connection. Now, do I, get, do I get any kind of... See, that's quite annoying. Oh no, it does fit. It does fit. That's a standard um, building side um, Hoover connection, you know. So that's good. Also comes with a filter, which I will not be using. I will not be demonstrating. So box out of the way. Cable was only one and a half meters, maybe. Let's find out. Now, what I want to check is how quick. Yeah, it's probably one that or something like that. What I want to see is the difference in changing the um, belt between this and my old one. So, let's see then. Make sure you're on camera. Nice and fresh belt there. Is that a real bit of Bosch? That is a real bit of Bosch. I think that's a pleasure to use. Um, direction of flow is that way right there. Direction of flow. Oh, it's just not the same, it's not a real Bosch product, is it? Foam tension, right, rapid, that was really nice. I like it. Nice, I like the fact that it's metal there. So at least it's not going to fucking melt in the roof. Right, old one. Open up. Not really much in it then, is it? Now the proof for me though is really is going to be yeah see this is always was quite a wee bit of fight getting it in there. Uh what I didn't like with the old one though as well though is that when it does get stuck up, it gets yeah, see like that. It gets fucking jammed up with 
dust at the back and it's really difficult to get the whole fucking blade out. Blades, it's a fucking belt. It's a the tin. So anyway, I'm going to go a bit rougher to start over here and I'm just going to do a quick pass across this floor. That's going to look like it's light. So I'll be sticking the non-Bosch Bauhaus fucking DIY centre brand on here. Just let you enjoy my ball spot there. Come on, you know you don't want to slide over there. What's going on? There we go, there we go. Boom, right, okay. Hopefully that's going to be nice and self-leveling. Let's see if we've got enough to demonstrate here. Look, um, I've also already sanded this area, so where I'm holding I've got to show you up there. So let's hold it a wee bit over here and uh, see what we can do.
Using a fucking belt sander to do a floor is never a particularly fast process. So, uh, to be quite honest, 20 minutes to do that section there. And all right, you're still going to need to go over again with a fucking 200 or a 120 or some shit like that. Do that in 20 minutes without any dust in any shape. That is a very impressive wee sander, by the way, compared to some of the other shit I've been using. 
That's as good as some of the Makitas, and honestly, I think that actually might, that Bosch might be a bit of a rip off of one of the Makitas. Kind of looks a bit like one of them. I find it weird that the tap it says electronic. But anyway, that's my wee review of the Bosch fucking whatever. Fuck knows. The AE version, it's 120 bucks. Pretty decent, man. Three year guarantee. If you get it on old Amazon, man, it'll be no hassle. Amazon, that shit. Uh, I wait, 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 hold on, I'll show you something else that I like with these. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Good to get.